Come here. Come here. Gluten! This is Zach versus. It's the year 2017, and the world's in the middle of a fitness revolution. The entire nation seems obsessed with healthy eating. Healthy eating! Healthy eating! Healthy eating! And gluten <laughs> appears to be the buzzword on everyone's lips. Excuse me, just say. Can you say gluten? Just say gluten into that camera. Just say gluten. With up to a third of Americans trying to cut down on their gluten intake and a mixed opinion from professionals on whether it's actually bad for you or not, I want to find out exactly how detrimental it is for your health. Today's challenge, eat nothing but gluten for one day. Gluten. It's too slow. Gluten. Better. Gluten is a family of proteins found in cereal grains, like wheat. When wheat flour is mixed with water, the proteins form a sticky little network and gives the dough its gluey texture and elastic properties. If you rinse that dough in water, you'll wash out all the starch, leaving you with pure, unadulterated gluten. That's not it. I've got to eat it. Looks like dog sick. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but exactly what damage is this diet meant to cause me? I met with a real serious doctor to find out. So exactly what damage is this diet meant to cause me? Well, you're going to be missing out on some vitamins and minerals and some protein because not all food mm. groups contain gluten. Vitamins, I only need them. Everybody. Well. So what we can do is we can have a look at some of the areas that you might be missing out on if you eat only gluten, OK? Let's have a look. If you stand up for me a second. Yeah, definitely. OK, so we've got perhaps a little bit of hair loss, which shows nutrient and protein deficiency, perhaps. Um, skin cells, they need vitamin C and zinc. And if you haven't got enough vitamin C and zinc, you can't make a skin cell. So that might be what's going on here. Um, what about here? So a diet mainly of carbohydrate will cause abdominal fat to accumulate around here. So that might be, you know, something that we ought to think about, really. I've not actually started the diet yet. OK. Well, definitely don't start it, then. <laughs> so I shouldn't eat this, then? No. Carry on, see you later. Hey, I'm not interested in what Mrs Pill Pusher back there has to say. I'm more interested in what real people think of my new food experiment. I mean, not him. Someone a bit closer to my age, hopefully. He's back. Welcome to the Gluten-Free versus Free Gluten Challenge. We're going to let the public decide whether they want some hearty, wholesome gluten or they want fresh, stinky, gluten-free pizza. Let's decide. Does he say anything? Get your gluten. Gluten. So we're doing a taste test and you just need to tell us which one you prefer. The pizza. Enjoy it. Mmm, it's really nice. Now get over here and taste the revolution. Yeah. Yeah. That's not Hmm. Don't, don't drop it in. Oh, God. Get your free gluten. Unfortunately, the results of our test were inconclusive. Well, one thing's for certain. It's the end of the day, and I have won today's challenge. Can I be serious for a second? Guys, there are millions of celiacs out there, and they have to steer clear of gluten. But for everyone else, it's up to you. Just because something is gluten-free doesn't mean it's healthy. Don't go back there for a while, guys. Someone's had a big wet behind that corner.